Hey everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you my Mother's Day tiny treat. There's a fair few of these uh, around and about. Um, I wanted to make one specifically to hold one of these lovely chocolates, one of my favourites. Um, and I just thought, instead of trying to fit a triple pack or even more in, I'd just make one that just held one and it's just got a little belly band of ribbon there that will slide off and obviously you open it out and there's your little chocolate it's really cute no adhesive required which is even better um, you do need a bit of adhesive on the, the belly band but on the actual packaging you don't need any so I'll show you how to make it so to start off with you're going to need some DSP that is six and a quarter by three and three quarters and in centimeters that will be 15 by 9. We are then going to uh, score it so on the short side, get rid of that trimmer, we're going to score at one and a quarter inches and two and a half and then in centimetres that will be three and six centimetres and then on the long side, whoops, we're going to score at one and a quarter, two and a half, three and three quarters, and then five. And in centimetres that will be three, six, nine and twelve. Simple as that. Okay, so once you've got all those nice score lines in place and you've got a nice grid going on, we then need to add our own diagonal lines. So if you have your um, DSP as I have mine so you've got your six and a quarter across the top in these boxes here so basically it's miss a box score miss a box score miss a box okay so we're going to miss the first box and we're going to score from the bottom left to the top right and then we're going to miss one score but this time we're scoring from bottom right to top left and we're going to do exactly the same mirror image on the bottom pieces so miss a box and this time we're scoring from top left to bottom right miss a box score again bottom left to top right <clears throat> excuse me okay so you will have that kind of, can you see the, the shape there? So you will have that. So we're going to fold and burnish our score lines. And as usual, there are some workmen just down the road here deciding to dig up some of the road. So I suspect we'll have some noise at some point. Always the way, isn't it? So we folded all of that up and then we just need to give these little... Um, diagonal score lines a nice little press just to reinforce them and then we're simply going to pop our chocolate in the center and then get it the right way around so with the, sh the long sides either side you're simply going to fold the front up and over here and you can see that these are already going the way they want and then this one exactly the same up and over and then you just sort of pinch at the triangles and it will just hold it all in place so there's your cute little box all made up no adhesive needed and then obviously to just decorate it so I've got some of my spare cut off here um, all my love, I couldn't remember what it was called then, all my love um, ribbon combo pack and this is the lovely lipstick one. So I'm just going to trim a bit there and I'm actually going to use because as again I seem to always leave my stuff elsewhere but my um, tear and tape is still downstairs with my swaps that I am finishing so I sit and do them while I'm watching TV so they're all stuck down there I thought I had everything else to hand but it's okay because I can use a glue dot just to show you 
the simplicity. We're just if I had tear and tape, literally I would just be adding a piece to the bottom there, and I'm just gonna cut that excess off. Okay, so that's sort of simply your belly band, and then I need whatever I've done with them. Oh no, hang fire, they're in my basket ready for my next project. So I need my oh no ignore me completely they're here i did put them out so the one and three eighth circle punch and the one inch circle punch so i've got some of my lovely lipstick here that i just want to punch the scallop circle out of and then i have my one inch circle punch for this and i just need again let's get this ready my lovely lipstick ink pad and I've used hand delivered because I just found that this sentiment just fit nicely on what I wanted so um, where is it where is it this one which says whoops love celebrating you so I'm just gonna stamp that one there Move all my ramble out of the way. Make that a little clean. And then with my one inch circle punch, just going to punch that one out. And as you can see, it does fit just nicely on that, um, with that punch. And then just simply snail this one in place. just there and then before I adhere that on this one you might notice I've got these two little sort of flower heads almost and I got those from um, the Be Mine stitched framelits and it's just this little beast piece here this little frill so I'll just move everything out of the way a moment I'm just going to bring in my big shot which has the wrong uh, base on so we'll move that out of the way and we'll put the correct one in and then I have my piece of cardstock and my die so I'm going to pop one there run it through and I did use two so there's one just get that out oops and then run this one through as well get that out get that out of the way and then I can sort my die cuts out I don't need that and then just pop my bits out here as I don't need those so that's those bits out and then the same again with this one that's in the die which makes it a bit easier when it's in the die And there you have your two, stick that back in there so I don't lose it. And then I simply again used some glue dots so I just made sure that my sentiment was straight and then added a glue, top, glue dot in a line because that's going to stick to my ribbon. But before I stuck that down I stuck my dies face down onto a glue dot and then simply pulled them off and then wherever I wanted them on my little sentiment I just stuck them on the back that one there and then I just simply stuck the whole thing 
onto the ribbon and the good thing is there's the chocolate inside so it will assist in pressing it down. Don't press on your flowers or they will stick to your paper and then you won't be able to slide your belly band off. But there are my Mother's Day little treats. Hope you like them and don't forget you can still purchase these items. They are available in either the annual or the spring summer catalogue and the links to the to the online store where you can purchase these items and my blog are all in the description below. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!